in the ancient Edfu temple. Parmajat Nahar Apar Ma Ba'u Har Ara, a house of books of Horus, equipped with the powers of Horus Ra, housed a papyrus titled The Book of Aha Combat. As the book itself is lost to history, Aha Kamat sought to recreate a book of Aha, and their research yielded a wealth of information. Using this research, Aha Kamat created a structured form of techniques to harness the power of the Aha U fighters of ancient Egypt to teach a modern generation of fighters who have within them the Kat spirit of the Aha E fighter. As is the established practice of our parent organization, Kamat. Reconstructing Ancient Egyptian Culture, Aha Kamat utilized the techniques of cognitive archaeology to not only uncover the several techniques available from Egyptology research, but to also research the warrior culture of ancient Egypt to attempt to understand the thoughts and feelings of the ancient Egyptian practicer of combat. From the soldiers who went into battle against the Nine Bows, the traditional enemies of Egypt, to the Majayu, who policed the streets and royal tombs of the New Kingdom, to those who partook in the ceremonial games and sport fighting so popular and defining in ancient Egyptian culture. Aha Kamat delves into the most ancient histories of Egypt, back before the times of the pharaohs, and the first temples settled into the Nile Valley who needed to take up arms against those who threatened them. Even to the other side of the synchronicity of history, where certain combat techniques survive into the modern day. And reverse engineer to discover their traditional origins. With this knowledge, Aha Kamat devised the best way to bring the techniques and traditions of ancient Egyptian combat and apply them to a modern age. Aha Kamat consists of different disciplines and, except for some of the weapons' forms, were so named for the Nachuru deities who inspired them. Aha Satash is intended to be a reconstruction of the first and only unarmed form taught to new soldiers. In a military environment, unarmed combat is rightly considered a secondary skill. The basic structure of Aha Satash is made up of eight different techniques, each four offensive. Khan and defensive Kasaf Ha Aha Atsia teaches all of the grappling of ancient Egypt, which is the most extensively documented fighting sport. With more than four hundred maneuvers, Aha Atsir is prime in all grappling sports. Found on the walls of tombs in Beni Hassan and Medinet Habu, the grappling of ancient Egypt was very popular in its day, not only as combat training, but as sport. We named this ancient sport after Oxir, or Osiris, the Nachar of the Netherworld, whose mummiform image reminds us of the object of wrestling, being bound submission. Aha Manchu is a combat technique inspired from the war Nachar, known today as Mantu, and the Majayu, or Majai. 
Manchu is the ancient Egyptian pronunciation for the deity, whom was the patron of the Ma Jat Yu, an ethnic group of fighters conscripted from Nubia, and in later times a general police force to patrol the streets of ancient Karnak, guard the tombs of the pharaohs in the Valley of the Kings, and serve in the armies of the New Kingdom. Aha Manchu is composed of a variety of Hual, strikes, and Sharu, blocks, and Sada, disarming techniques for close quarter combat, urban combat, and specialized ancient military combat. Aha Kau, fighting with weapons, studying the reliefs of war, as well as working with the ancient weapons themselves. Aha Kamat has created a formidable fighting style of the weapons of ancient Egypt. The Aha U utilized many weapons on the battlefield and conscripted many specialist forces that Aha Kamat reconstructed in weapons aptly named after gods, pharaohs, and the special conscript forces. Chasamat, fight training. Good health, strength, and stamina are a requirement of Aha Kamat. Included within the teachings are also physical training guides to ready you for the rigors of training in Aha Kamat. While Aha Kamat requires physical fitness, it is not in any way comparable to the modern sport fighting athletes. It is not necessary to have a modern fighter's physique or stamina where fighters will train to sport fight for 45 minutes or more without stopping. In the streets or on the battlefield, fights with the enemy are swift, brutal, and very real. Training in Aha Kamat seeks more for precision, speed, and strength to overcome your opponent, not the ability to score points. Even the sport fighters in ancient Egypt did not resemble the lean, hyper-athletic fighters of today. In Aha Kamat, the Chasamat Ta refers to the retreats organized by the Nabuya, lords of Aha Kamat, to train and test the Aha Yu Sabat Yu, student fighters. The Chasamat Ta is always on sand to provide not only a softer setting for the aha ah seer but also to give more challenging ground for all aspects of the chasamat training it is not necessary for all chasamat sessions to be on sand but it is necessary to engage in chasamat sometimes on sand to prepare for your eventual attendance in the chasamat top The word Wahama means to repeat. These training exercises have singular and partner forms. Singular Wahama exercises can be done with or without a heavy bag, training dummy, or practice pads. Partner Wahama exercises are preferable as a Wahama is performed by each opponent back and forth. Chaspari. This training exercise is commonly known as sparring. Rahuya. Two combatants stand opposed in the chasamat ta and will fight until one yields or taps out. Padded gloves or wraps and shin guards are utilized if desired. In adherence to tradition, the Rahuya do not engage in pleasantry including handshaking, glove touching, or helping their itanu, or opponent, after they have yielded. Additionally, the Rahuya will engage in chasu chasya, or vile speech, to distract their itanu. Wretched one! <laughs> Senile goat! Common Egyptian insults. Ma'ara. Is Eb Hasya Ham 
Oaxaca. Harhua. Saba. Ajaya. Each discipline of Aha Kamat is considered separate unto itself regarding mastery over them. For each Aha, there is one rank above Nafar, recruit, and that is Haria, master. Two years of enrollment in the Aha Kamat is required for anyone wishing to be tested at the Chasamat top to attain Haria rank. Though it is not necessary to attend a Chasamat top, Prior to testing, upon enrolling in Ahakamat, one holds the title of Nafar, recruit. Each discipline carries with it the title of Harya Aha, master of combat. Harya Aha Satash. The Nafar must have mastery over all eight Satash forms. well as adequately utilizing each individual who strike or shar block in combat mastery over basic grappling techniques of aha seer specifically all strangles and takedowns are necessary the nafar must have a working knowledge of at least 10 specialty tactics the nafar needs mastery over the specific sadah disarming techniques as well as effectively using individual Huau and Sharu in combat. The Nafar needs general working knowledge of all weapons, with special discipline in the spear and one other weapon of their choice. A Harya who has gained Harya rank over all disciplines is eligible for undergoing Washama, testing of the arm for the title of Harya Aha. Kamat. This rank requires mastery over the discipline of Hana. Hana means together with and involves blending the several Aha to use together in combat. After two years of enrollment, a Nafar is entitled to undergo the Washama at a Chasamat Ta. Washama is carried out under Raharakatya, the midday sun. The Rahuya contestants can be two Nafar, or a Nafar and a Nab, or Harya. The purpose of the testing is not necessarily to win over your opponent, only to prove your mastery over the Aha. Judgment is by the Sah Nabuya, Council of Lords. Those who attain Harya Aha Kamat rank may enlist in the Mashahar, an order whereby the Aha U of the Mashahar have taken a deeper commitment to become one of the Aha U Kamat. The Mashahar are an elite group with private ritual, ranking, and spiritual study, as well as combat known only to the Mashahar. The Nabuya are chosen from the Mashahar for their exceptional service and loyalty to the tenants of Aha Kamat and the Mashahar. They make up the Sahnabuya, Council of Lords who serve as the Iryuha, custodians of laws. The Sabau teachers come out of the Sahnabuya. They are those who feel are called to teach Aha Kamat. They are chosen by the Sah Nabuya. Khabash Wak Saham Wamat Ibak Wasarak San Manchu Ma Wan Ut Jat Nafar San Itamu Inajhar Ma Patar Nafarak Nachtu har taku nab. Haha arak ib. Aha, 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 Aha,
action combat. The fighters of ancient Egypt were the greatest and feared of the ancient world. Their ways of battle were the most efficient and brutal. Reverence for their discipline so great, tribute came from across the ancient empire to keep the forces of the two lands appeased. Aha! Kamat employs the latest archaeological research to construct the lessons for you to learn the secrets of the Ahatu, the fighters of ancient Egypt. Aha Kamat, ancient Egyptian combat. Find us online at ancientegyptcombat.com